back on the video. I'm reckless. Not Chris. We got Cat Williams, Cat Apocalypse. You know what I'm saying? Definitely ready to go ahead and jump into this one. Um, if y'all haven't checked out Priceless, uh, Cat Williams Priceless, we've been reacting to that. We're gonna jump right back into that. But uh, there's been a lot of people wanting uh, Cat Apocalypse too. Yeah. Um, so. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna have this. Um, gonna react to the different parts. Y'all just let us know what y'all wanna do. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want this for a day and then want that. If y'all wanna switch it up or just knock this out, y'all gotta let us know in the comments. Which I already know, hit that like button, subscribe button. Let's get in the video. Ladies and gentlemen, 2012 is upon us, and bitch niggas ain't happy about it. I gotta tell you why. First of all, how many people is happy that Barack Obama is the president of these United States of America? Now, I understand how that could be a divisive issue. But America ain't about division, goddammit. It's about unity. And never have white people and black people been so united and disgusted at the same goddamn time as we are right now. White people, let me say this in front of niggas. <laughs> we have had a black president for quite some time right now, and we have not had an opportunity as niggas to thank you, white people, for the fact that you have let our commander in chief, a nigga, run this goddamn country. <laughs> we appreciate that. You didn't kill him. You let the nigga show up to work. We thank you very much. White people, understand that from niggas. From niggas. <laughs> now, what you need to understand, white people, is we have been confused ever since the nigga got elected. <laughs> we don't know what the fuck is going on. We working on faith. White people, understand. <laughs> oh, shit. When a nigga take the office, as niggas, we have a meeting. <laughs> the white people. As niggas, we had a meeting. We decided we was gonna support it. Now, as a nigga, it is hard for us to not talk shit about what a motherfucker's doing on his goddamn job. That's kind of our shit, is to talk shit about what the fuck you should be doing. Now, niggas somehow swallowed all that. The niggas supported Obama every step of the goddamn way. And in the beginning, we was talking with bass in our voice and using gestures and stomping our feet and shit. Just, look, how long did it take you motherfuckers to run this country in the goddamn ground? Now you want this nigga to do magic? That was us, eight months after the election. That was us. Four months after that, we had lost all the bass in our voice. We just, look, we don't know what this nigga's doing, but he's trying, oh, okay? <laughs> you got to give this nigga a chance. We don't know what the fuck he working with right now. He... White people, let me just tell you on behalf of niggas, nobody watches a presidential speech harder than niggas. We be waiting on this nigga to say anything that had something to do with us. We... <laughs> White people, I've been so proud of y'all. Y'all have become niggas in this recession the way I knew you could. Oh, look at white people. What do you mean became niggas? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we all niggas now. You didn't know that? You didn't hear about the 99%? That's niggas. <laughs> Not gonna be about race no more in 2012. Mm -mm, it's bigger than that. Ain't about white and black. No, no, ain't about that. It's about you versus them. Them versus us. We versus them. And fuck they motherfucking asses before we begin. Now, understand this. White people, you cannot confuse the facts. You only voted for this nigga because he was kind of a nigga. <laughs> he wasn't no full-fledged nigga. You wasn't gonna put no whole nigga in the goddamn White House. And now, 
You wanna blame this nigga for not doing niggardly shit. He never gets angry. He never raises his voice. <laughs> He's just not strong enough. He won't. You want him to be a nigga? <laughs> I don't think you want him to be a nigga. I don't. I don't think you're ready to see Michelle Obama come to the news conference in flip flops. I don't think you're ready. Oh to. God. White people, you have to understand, we all in this together. As black people, we didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen. All we knew was it was time for some shit to happen. That's all we knew. You have to forgive us in the fact that we voted for a nigga to be a superhero and forgot to ask the nigga, could he fly? <laughs> People, you need to understand how ready niggas was the day after the election. You'll never understand. We was ready for anything. That nigga could have said anything. We was at the house in double Dutch mode. To... <laughs> oh, shit. That nigga could have said anything. Barack Obama could have came out the next day after the election and said, I want all niggas to go outside and clean up trash. And it would have been gangbangers all over Inglewood. <laughs> I don't think you want to drop that right there today, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, God. But we don't know what the fuck going on. We just waiting on Obama to give us our word. We'd have been waiting so long that nigga could give us anything right now. That nigga could give niggas free small fries every 14th Thursday, and that would be good enough. <laughs> but white people, what we ain't gonna let you do is talk about this nigga like he ain't a child of God. This nigga been out there doing his goddamn job. I tell you one thing, I do seem to remember that for eight years, we couldn't find the same one goddamn terrorist we was looking for. I said one goddamn terrorist that we was looking for. I said one goddamn terrorist that we was looking for. And my goddamn president <laughs> done killed every goddamn terrorist that ever goddamn lived. You can say what you want. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm not saying if you put a nigga in the White House, he won't fuck up the credit of the country. Oh, <laughs> but if you want some terrorists, you get yourself a nigga. <laughs> Barack Obama didn't have to send in the Army and the Navy and the Coast Guard. Barack Obama sent three motherfuckers in. Killed every terrorist. Just one to shoot him and two to pose. Just... <laughs> bow, bow. The land of the free. We're going to jump back into it, y'all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let us know if we should head back on the Priceless or the uh, Capocalypse. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just let us know. But you already know, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.